hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time, then I give a review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal opinion, and what the hell do I know? I don't know if y'all remember, before Halloween started, I had watched Terminator, and I made a brief comment about why I don't watch sequels. On this channel, you might realize, if you've been here for a second or if you start scrolling through, that I don't watch a lot of sequels on this channel. I'm not against sequels, I just feel like most of the time, like Terminator, Friday the 13th, a lot of movies that have like a ton of sequels tell the story really well in one. And I personally don't feel the need for the story to continue in order to feel complete. I am not against sequels. I just feel like sometimes sequels are a money grab. Y'all thought I was attacking Terminator and its sequel, and I was not. So much so, got really pushed at the beginning of this year to give Aliens a chance after I watched Alien, and it was amazing. Y'all came through telling me that Terminator 2 is one of the best sci-fi sequels of all time. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I don't know how we're gonna have a sequel to Terminator because the exoskeleton was crushed in the hydraulic press at the end. I reckon if the Terminator and Dude came from the future, then there's still Terminators that exist in the future. More could come back. Or I wonder if this time we're gonna go to the future. Like I wonder if what's her face, the mama, is gonna go to the future to see her son. I don't know. I'm just excited to see if they can connect these movies and if this sequel really is as good as y'all said in the comments. So I'm here to give it a chance. So no more diddle dally and let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is Terminator 2. Oh! <laughs> Little crispy guy. He looks happy to be here. Oh my god, we are so close to that year. And what's crazy is when this film was made, that seemed like it was so far in the future, didn't it? Like the laser guns, the explosions, I'm loving them. Oh, that makes sense. In the future, they don't have to look human because we're used to them being there. Sent two Terminators back through time. Sent two Terminators. Arnold's back in this one. I love that. Um, okay, so this movie, same concept, but now we're going after Kid. Now we're going after John instead of the mom. Not the Rocky horses. Okay, while well, we're in the opening credits. Here's some beanies for you. She upset she got a bath yesterday. You did not like that, did you? That okay. It over now. So she's just hanging out. We're letting her outside again. Hopefully that makes her stop pooping on the couch and the bed. I'm exposing all your secrets to the people on the internet, Beans. How does that make you feel? I will say the cy cyborg skeleton is very scary. Are they going to be naked again, or have they perfected the art of wearing clothes through time and space? Nope, they naked again. <laughs> okay, so if Arnold is back as the Terminator in this movie as well, is Arnold's flesh, is that just the default flesh that these machines go to when they travel to Earth? You, do, you know what I'm saying? He about to go up in this bar naked as hell. What are we going to do about, about acquiring some clothes, friend? I mean, listen. I'm not one to complain about Arnold being naked. Your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> How's that gonna work out for you, buddy? Have you noticed he's not reacting? You should be a little concerned. Oh! Oh, he landed on the stove! You know, I think after the first guy got his hand crushed, I think I probably would have left him alone. Like, why is everybody like, yeah, let's keep attacking him? Not a good idea. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fitting song. I like this. He's not taking it. Dude gave him the keys. <laughs> Bad. Well, I mean, he needed a gun. I wear my sunglasses at night. 
Who is this? This oh, so this is gonna be the guy that helps John. This dude's gonna fake being a cop. That's gonna get you in a lot more trouble, my guy. Okay, he can use the equipment to find who he needs to find quicker. That makes sense. Natural father unknown. We know. We know who it is. The red-headed mullet. It's a move. He hasn't cleaned that room of his in a month. Well, it's an emergency. Hang on, I'll get right on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, for some reason the grunting, I didn't think it was pull-ups. Do y'all see her paw? She believes that a machine called a Terminator which looks human, of course. This is John's mom? She ended up going to a psych ward? Yo, Sarah got ripped. Look at her arms. That's what I want my arms to look like. Now, you know you gotta be good because you're up for review this afternoon. Oh, that's good news, though. A taser, too? Oh, my God, this makes me so sad. Okay, this makes me so sad. She wasn't even violent with you guys. There's no need for that. Could if you were here. Took off on his bike this- I don't like his foster parents. They just look like assholes. Yeah, a big guy on a bike. So I got something to do with this? That has a lot to do with this. I can't believe the Terminator already beat the cop dude, or the other guy, to him. Would you learn this Is he breaking into anyway, an ATM? Mom. That's a whole other kind of stealing. She's pretty cool, huh? No, she's a complete psycho. No! No! She literally saved your life! She did not kick that much ass in Terminator 1 for you to think that she's a loser. She's kind of stuck right now. I don't know if you can tell. Her hair is so long. Girl, where do you think you're going in this dream right now? <laughs> where was John? Weird dream, but all right. I, th I bet you're going to keep having that same dream until you, you know, save the world. Anybody was there like a whole group of people who million. like hyped up that day in real time? You know what I mean? Girl, that right there is going to keep you in a stack war for the rest of your life. Visitors. Yay! So she's gonna have to lie and deny all this so she can go to minimum security. Meanwhile, the world's just in danger. Is that a dinosaur balloon? That's so much fun. How much did Pepsi pay for that product placement? Oh, they kept parts. Oh no. Well, girl, this doesn't help your case not one bit. This don't help you not one bit, girl. Oh man, and his little dirt bike isn't gonna, it ain't gonna outrun his motorcycle. He was going to the Galleria, right? Yeah. The Galleria? What's a Galleria? Like a mall with an arcade? Is that what that was supposed to mean? I mean, I know they're at an arcade now, but. Okay, that's what they meant. Galleria means mall. I've never heard that before. Do you know this guy? Nah, I don't know. Wow, okay, you know what? Get you a best friend that ain't an arc. This whole time I've been wondering why he had roses. They were not really roses. It was a gun. Okay, I thought it blew his shoulder off, but what are these silver things popping up on his body? What, what are those? I see now. I understand. Oh my God, that was stressful. Okay, this is like Grand Theft Auto, and listen to me when I tell you, I cannot stand it when people still Big trucks, they're not fast, they're not efficient. I mean, they'll go faster than a dirt bike, but like, I would steal something a little more compact and quicker. Okay, that's really cool. That's real cool. Okay, this chase scene has lasted quite a quite a hot second. How in the world did he uh, cock that gun? Cause that, that's so cool! That bridge about to take the top half off! Did he live through that? Yeah, he did. Of course he did. Okay, that's cool. I do like stunts. Explosion. Yes. Okay, that's badass. That's a badass explosion. I mean, how is the Terminator going to live through that? He, I mean, he's going to come out. Or at least that's what happened in the first one. I mean, can he just regenerate his skin if he comes out all melty? Okay. Well, that answers my question. And that makes this much more interesting. No. So plot twist, is Arnold going to be the good Terminator this time and protect the kid? My mission is to protect you. Okay, so I guess the plot of this one, now the one that's Arnold is good and is here for protection. Okay, but now there's a bad Terminator that's in a police uniform, so I'm a little stressed about that. Give me Mendy Polly all oil. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I 
gotta stop at my house. Yeah, don't go home. That's where they'd be looking for you. Hold on. Aren't his foster parents gonna be freaking out? I know they don't exactly like him, but still, he's their responsibility. He's got plenty of quarters. If you hurry home, we can sit down and have dinner together. He's not gonna do that. Something's wrong. She's never this nice. <laughs> Shut up, you worthless piece of shit! The dog's really barking. So the second Terminator's at the house. They just haven't seen him yet. John, honey, it's late. What just happened? What? What? Oh my god! Okay, you know what? I'm here for it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm all in for this. I've watched a, a lot of movies. You're I've watched two movies with shape shifters. It and now this. You can form solid metal shapes. Like what? Knives and stabbing weapons. Man, that is so badass. That is crazy. Is he gonna become a dog right now? No, he just killed it. Well, that makes me sad. These were taken at a mall in Reseda today. I mean, do y'all believe her now or no? Oh, nice. It's like Hannibal with the ink pen. Typically, the subject being copied is terminated. I mean, have you figured out what their name means? Terminators? They terminate things? Help! This does not help our help! mission. Help! <laughs> Very straight to the point, to the fact. Why the hell did you do that? Because you told me to. You did say, let me go, and he did. That's on you, friend. Put your leg down. <laughs> act cool, act cool. Oh my god, and the other one has already made it there. He's gonna mimic Sarah. No, I think Sarah's too much of a badass. I think she's gonna get out. You know what? That very next scene tells me she's not gonna get out. <laughs> Don't be weird. He's weird. I'm so stressed for her because she has so much to undo before she's actually free and Terminator's coming to mimic her and kill her and I'm just a little stressed. Oh, here comes your friends now. Oh, I was gonna be like, looks like you're not getting in there. He's getting in there. This dude became the floor? Yo, that is crazy. But now you gotta die. Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Right there in front of the other lady. If she looked up, she could totally see you right now. Broken broom handle. Okay, that's badass. I love that. Awesome. Good job, girl. But now you gotta get past everybody at the front door and the Terminator who's disguised as a security guard and any other guards that might be on the facility. So, this will be fun. You know that shit hurt. I swear I will not kill anyone. Unless they try to hurt you, then I will kill them. Oh, as help. a hostage, that makes sense. On the floor, hold it open. Face the wall. My heart is racing. I am so stressed right now. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, smart. Break the key off in that bitch. I love that. Unless you need that key for future doors. In that case, not a good idea. No, don't freak out, Sarah. Don't freak out. Your son's with him. Don't freak out. Oh man, he slid into that bitch. <laughs> Did you think that was a good idea, girl? Come with me if you want to live. I've heard that quote before. I didn't realize it was from this movie. He's gonna fuse right through that metal. Oh my god, that was so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Look at that. Now, is that real cops or is that fake cop? Listen, you're gonna have a lot of charges against you once all this is over because you just killed or attacked a cop and now you're stealing a cop car. Okay, I love that we have a reloader in the back seat. Wow, he really don't slow down for nothing, huh? And you know what? If he can like regenerate and morph and stuff like that, like we couldn't even squish him in a hydraulic press. I don't know how we're gonna get rid of this guy. Okay, at least we lost him for right now. I tell you what, them crowbar hands are crazy. Yes. Are you all right? Yeah. I mean, define all right. You almost got yourself killed. What were you thinking? That he was trying to save his mama? Okay, this is the best foot to get started off on on your new relationship. So, tensions are high. Let's take a breather. Ooh, I don't like open wounds. And that's what you do all the time. You mean a killing machine? There's a difference. He doesn't want you to do too much thinking, huh? No. Come to Earth, complete your mission, call it a day. That is disgusting.
disgusting. I am stressed and intrigued and grossed out all in one. Oh, and he's offline. So is he just 100% human now or just offline, just dormant? Well, he couldn't be just human because literally his skeleton is a machine. So he has to have the computer chip to function. I thought she was gonna crash his hands. What it's like to try to kill one of these things. Uh, he has seen a lot of that today, actually. Maybe you should start listening to my leadership ideas once in a while. Uh, excuse me, Josh, she is still your mama. So why doesn't the Terminator just tell his mama that John programmed him to be a protector? It might ease a little bit of her anxiety about him, you know? We have to get as far away from the city as possible. Road trip! Chill out, dickwad. That one, I like that one. This severe routine is getting old, okay? I mean, you're are Arnold's you... pants leather? Are he wear? Is he wearing leather pants? You getting there? Oh my God! Listen, and we we are working on self-driving cars in 2021. I just, if I think about it too much, I do get scared of AI becoming self-aware. Wow, he has a two-computer setup back in the day. You know that cost him a pretty penny. I'm gonna roll it. You better take the kids the raging water because happy wife, happy life. With a pilot that never gets tired, never makes mistakes, never shows up to work with a hangover. You mean to tell me that pilots do that now? What is that? Bones? What is that? Snakeheads! Okay. I got very stressed for a moment. You're pretty jumpy, Connor. Well, if somebody busts out with a shotgun, I'd be a little jumpy, too. Uncle Bob? Uncle Bob works. Just go with it. Give us your name, huh? I just came from my stuff. I mean, that is also how I interact with babies. They got a bunker and everything full of ammo. That's smart. But we know that the other Terminator can regenerate, so I don't really understand what our plan is. Look at her jawline! Are you ever afraid? Every day, my guy. Not even of dying? Y'all essentially killed him a moment ago when he took the computer chip out of his brain. I have to stay functional, too. I'm too important. <laughs> I mean, how does it make you feel, my guy? It's crazy. The length of, of which your mom and a Terminator will go to keep you safe. She's always telling them about Judgment Day and me being this world leader. Yeah, you can't just say those kind of things to just anybody and everybody because you end up, you know, in a psych ward. I sent him back through time to 1984. And wait, y'all are going to be best friends, and you're going to be like, oh my god, my best friend is my dad. Why do you cry? I don't know, you name it. I'm overwhelmed, I'm sad, we don't have macaroni and cheese. I'll cry just about anything. Give me five. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. All right. I was going to say, I bet that's going to hurt like hell. Five low. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Terminator's like, I'm so over the shit. Terminator's like, humans are dumb. That's so cut, like, that's so heartwarming and stuff. I know she didn't want to trust him, but I'm glad she is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her having this dream. You know what? She kind of reminds me of, of uh, Tomb Raider, Laura Croft in that outfit. I know she's not wearing shorts, but, you know, hair in the ponytail, tank top, badass. Oh, no, she's dying in this one. Oh my god, they're all melting. Oh my god, that's crazy! The skeleton! Dude, that's badass! How do we get her to stop having the nightmare? I guess, kill the bad Terminator? Which we haven't seen him in a hot second, so I wonder what he's been up to. She intends to change the future. Is she trying to make it to where Terminators are never created? Like, that AI is never available? <gasps> and if she does that, once the technology is doomed or destroyed or whatever that means terminator is going to disappear you better go to bed somebody's in the backyard with an assault rifle so you better do something about that oh wow she missed well he moved didn't expect that but at least she's ruining the technology girl get out of there why are you just hanging around here okay i guess she's gonna go kill him and she can't do it because of the kid. Because he's a dad. He doesn't know. He didn't intend for his technology to become self-aware. Okay, this is very touching. This is a big moment for them. He done ripped his meat off like that. Oh my God, that's so gross. And the way I worded it, it sounded even grosser. Gave us ideas, took us in new directions. I mean, things we would have never... 
Well, look where it goes, my guy. I was gonna say, your big duffel, duffel bags and backpacks and things of that nature don't exactly say, like, incognito to me. The silent lawn's been tricked. Oh, no! Okay, so that shuts down everything. Oh, this is even worse than what we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll open a door. Oh, he's not at the lab. He's at the house. Oh, my God. Okay, so he's, he's a couple steps behind everybody else. Got it. Oh, is he gonna go through the house and kill his wife and kids? What a moment. He's destroying what I he created. A lot of years. And just like that, it's over. Why do I feel like this is about to be so badass? I just think this is gonna be great. And I think there's gonna be so many explosions. And I'm just very excited about it. Trust me. Okay, so he says, trust me, as in I'm not gonna kill them, but he says he's gonna take care of the police, as in he's gonna kill them. So let's find out. So what, is he just scaring them back instead of shooting them? That's exactly what he's doing. He's just scaring them back. So he's keeping his promise to John. He kept his promise. John's gonna be so happy. That's so nice. See, my dumb ass would be like, are we turning on three or are we turning on go? One, two, three or one, two, three, go. It's the same reason why I'm so bad at rock, paper, scissors. I never know if we're going to go on scissors or if we're going to go on shoot. I never know. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. And he's got the detonator. Is he going to set it off and she's going to die? You got to go, John. You got to go, my guy. You got to go. No way out. Make a new door yourself. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Okay, good for Miles for giving them a heads up, though. Like, he could have killed everybody, and instead, he was like, you know what, get out. I mean, at least he's going out with all his work. That's a big explosion. Y'all know I like my explosions. Where's the second Terminator? Oh my god, no telling how much force that shoots those th the gas canisters out. Okay, with all the technology being destroyed, how is the future not affected yet? You know what I mean? How how has these how have these terminators not like disappeared into the void yet, you know? Girl, see if Arnold's got any more of them little bombs. Shoot one right in the cockpit of that helicopter. You are right. Why you just kill him like that? He was for real checking on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do we fix this? I don't really know the chemical properties of liquid nitrogen, so I don't know if it's going to explode or not, but the way they're acting, I think it's going to. Y'all hear that alarm? Get the hell out there! He's going to freeze? Like, he's going to... He's going to freeze and he won't be able to move anymore? He done lost your foot. And your other one. This makes sense, because earlier in the movie, when his crowbar hand got stuck in the trunk, it did... But wait, he can reabsorb it. Maybe I'm not supposed to be thinking this hard. And y'all can correct me in the comments, but like, what's gonna stop him from thawing out and becoming re liquidy and then reforming? You see? 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 How do we end this? Why did I act like I was gonna see blood or something? He's literally a machine. I mean, that sucks. You have one arm now up against this guy who can literally turn into anything he needs to or wants to. Ooh, I was 100% prepared for Sarah to die and the bad Terminator to become her. <gasps> his little red, his little red light eye went out. He's dead. Damn, she only got one leg. She only got one arm. Alternate power. How did that happen? That's the bad Terminator acting like his mama. Okay, Goldie Hawn from Death Becomes Her. She ran out of bullets? That is terrifying. Hell yeah, boy. Dude, what? That is wicked. So he's just gonna melt. Well, that makes sense. He'll melt and he won't be able to reform because it's too hot. So he'll stay melty. Oh, so he's shifting into like all the people he's become this entire time. Oh my God, that is gonna give me nightmares. Hmm, hey Arnold, how you doing, buddy? There's one more chip. <gasps> no! I don't want to get rid of you, though! Oh, I was gonna say do a front flip, but alright. I don't know why you cry. He feels it, he just can't express it! I mean, think about it. Like, badass hanging onto some chains, getting lowered into some melted steel. 
Hasta la vista, baby. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, you want to know something? Let me tell you something. Okay, so I think one of my arguments, when I watched Terminator, I thought it was a great movie. Explosions, actions, an interesting concept, you know? I don't know why I didn't ask the question of like, how is John going to be protected moving forward? But it makes sense about the sequel because previous Terminator got sent to kill Sarah so John's never born where he's born so it makes sense that bad Terminators would still try to kill him. So this sequel makes a lot of sense to me. And now we know that this should be the end of it all because all the technology was killed. Let's see how many sequels of Terminator there are. See? See why we gotta go and make four? Whatever. My promise was to give the sequel a chance and let me tell you what. These special effects? Oh my god. Him like melting oh my god at the end where he got blown up from the inside and his body was out and his head was like that oh my god that was really freaking cool y'all already know i love seeing the skeleton like it was scary when i first watched it but like it is so freaking cool so to see arnold's face come apart that was really neat but like the concept that it could reconstruct and just come back together you know like it it fell apart and he can just absorb his broken pieces back up and rebuild himself. Oh my god, the fact that he can become anything. He was a floor at one point. I see now why you wanted me to watch it. Hold on a second. Why spend all that time on Sarah having nightmares? Why have all that time? And they never show her falling asleep and having a pleasant dream. Like, why spend all that time setting that up and then not complete that? Now that I think about it, that's kind of annoying. But the rest of it, so freaking cool. I am very glad that y'all insisted that I watch this because I had a great time. If you like sci-fi and action, The Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Big fan of both of them right here. So far, I have trusted you on two sequels. Alien and Aliens, The Terminator and Terminator 2, and I'm not disappointed yet. Out of this one, five out of five stars. Now, if I had to compare the two, sci-fi action being Alien versus Terminator, Personal favorite, I love Alien. And I think I'm biased because it has a kick-ass woman in it as the main lead. Like, Sarah became that kick-ass woman in the second one, you know? But like, Ripley's a badass. And you have Jonesy. They don't even have pets in this one. Well, Max was in this one, but he died in like the first 20 minutes, so there's that. But anyways, five out of five stars for Terminator 2. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. This Friday, is actually going to be another very requested, another movie that I don't know how I have gone this long without seeing it, Rocky. So I'll see you right back here on Friday. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.